Hey everyone, so I'm just going to post a quick entry in my creationism series tonight. More, uh, it's going to be more of a challenge for a young earth creationist than anything else. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, my question is, if all or most of the fossils that paleontologists dig up were buried during a violent global deluge that happened less than 10,000 years ago, why is it that w when we find fossils, they appear to be in a relatively consistent geological order? Um, it would seem to me that a giant global flood would be less than consistent in how it laid down the remains of animals that died because of it. Yet what we seem to find in these geological layers is that these fossils show up in predictable patterns. For example, the remains of non-avian dinosaurs and pterosaurs are usually found in layers associated with the Mesozoic. Occasionally you might find a dinosaur fossil that is past the KT boundary, but by and large, uh, by the time we reach the strata that most people associate with the Cenozoic, the dinosaurs, the pterosaurs, and the marine reptiles seem to have vanished. By the same token, we, we don't seem to find fossilized bones of mammals in geological layers that are associated with the early and mid Paleozoic, for example. This to me presents a problem for young earth creationism in that uh, young Earth creationists don't believe in specific eras like the Paleozoic, the Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic. So they would argue that the different stratas of rocks, which look millions of years old, do not represent different ages separated by millions of years of time, but basically that they are simply the result of a world that was created to look more mature than it actually is, or that these geological features are the result of Noah's deluge. I heard, um, it was some time ago, I, I don't remember who exactly it was that said it, might have been Dawkins or might have been somebody else, but I heard somebody who was a critic of young earth creationism uh, put it in a way that I really liked, and that was that all it would take for us to upturn our current understanding of evolution and just like totally turn it on its head is to start finding bunny rabbit fossils in the Cambrian. It would seem to me that you know, uh, young earth creationism, if it were true, we'd find first and foremost, you know, we have a more complete fossil record, and secondly, it, it wouldn't be so predictable, the fossil record, and as far as what animals uh, show up in what strata. So anyway, I'm putting it to young earth creationists, uh, please explain why uh, we don't have a more complete uh, fossil record if this flood happened a couple thousand years ago, and also, why is it that we don't find quote-unquote out-of-phase fossils more often? Answer the questions by questioning the answers. I'm out.